So we have John Collins, Thomas Walner, Haggai Goldfarb with us today on the Polly's WebXR red carpet. Welcome, gentlemen. When I was approached uh, by Thomas and Haggai to be part of this project using a new technology and a, and a new way to teach uh, these ideas and, and for kids to really be able to experience this uh, in a visceral way, these guys were cooking up a way to have a real stereo 3D VR experience with just off the shelf stuff. And I was blown away. So this project was from the beginning an exploration in education, but it was really about, can we take education to the next level? Could we, could we potentially have education that can be uh, effective, not in, in a brick and mortar or in a class or in a physical room, but take, make the next, the classroom of the future. Can we, can we potentially have people, uh, student and teacher communicate effectively within the context of a virtual classroom and, and that sort of was the beginning of the whole thing is, can we actually do that? That sort of goes back to a philosophy of trying to bring the traditional and the modern together uh, in a way to create something new. So rather than rejecting everything traditional, um, you know, you kind of see what works the best in the past and then you transport it into a new medium. You know, when, when, when film became a new medium, the people who came into that medium came from theater and radio and journalism and all the, and brought their skills with it. At the heart of this is that something, it, it, it isn't about polygons, basically. It, it's really a, about combining things into something completely new. And I think very few people understand the long-term repercussions or the potential of this medium. I personally think that WebXR um, and I know this sounds a little big, but is going to transform human culture. It's going to create this barrier-free entry into an immersive world that will take on all kinds of forms from AR to VR. And it is what is actually going to mix reality and the virtual uh, via the web. And I think the web as we know it, um, you know, will become highly immersive so that in, you know, 20, 30 years down the line, when they look back at the at the the web that we were using now, it'll be sort of like when we look back and watch black and white silent movies. And we're at this very interesting point in time where a whole bunch of technologies are converging and coming to a fruition um, to fulfill basically an old human dream. Around the 1900s, when the cinema was being invented. They actually, you know, around 1896, 1898, wrote down what sounded like the holodeck, um, which is quite amazing uh, to think. So the human imagination at the dawn of cinema imagined a medium that was around us, immersive and tactile. How can we use WebXR to tell stories in a completely different way? The answer will be it will emanate from how our brains work. And we will shape this medium to, to, to conform to what human beings need to, you know, to communicate with each other and tell stories immersively, to forge a vocabulary of interaction and storytelling for the future. When I saw what Haggai had, and Thomas had put together in the goggles for the first time, I had a real emotional response. And I've worked in television production for three decades, doing commercials and, and uh, television news. And when I saw what they had done, I was blown away. I, it blew my hair back. And I had an emotion that I hadn't had in a long time, which was wonder uh, of, of this experience, it, it being in the air and flying like a bird and, and really experiencing this on a new level. And I, I've been seeing this material for 30 plus years. I, and I've worked until I'm about as jaded as you can get. <laughs> so from a human point of view, I totally get what Thomas is saying. <laughs> this is a new kind of emotional storytelling. It's a new kind of way to present this that's going to really strike at what it means to be a human. I really appreciate that part of it. And Thomas and Haggai have done a, an incredible job with the technology. Just, I must add about the innovation in this project through Jackknife. And something wonderful happened here in this project. And I can see this innovation happening in real time. 
And I think it's creating a whole new level of experience that did not exist before. It's this genius stuff. Magic of Flight was a foray on seeing how something works purely in virtual reality. But I could imagine that I might, you know, experience John and the Magic of Flight in all kinds of ways on the 2D screen, in VR, uh, maybe something in augmented reality, and maybe all of it at the same time. WebXR from the ground up has the ability to actually fuse all these different mediums into one larger experience. And, and I think that is its, one of its great superpowers because we've developed systems that I believe fundamentally change uh, the viewer's relationship to that particular medium. Um, so what has happened over the years is when the tools that you need aren't out there, you have to create them yourself. So with a team of about 10 people, I've been working for five years uh, to create something called Jackknife for us in a way to create um, uh, projects and, and explore this new medium. My dream is that one day, you know, everybody will use this uh, because it allows them to author in a cost-effective way for this new medium, WebXR. This Monument Valley scene uh, is actually not a 360 video. This um, is a photogrammetry model of a section of Monument Valley. And this eagle is a GLB that was imported into Jackknife, which was animated in a Maya. And what I want you to notice is that she's holding a little paper airplane, which was part of the green screen shoot. And uh, she will throw it. And at that moment, the, the, the paper airplane that she's holding that's on a 2D video plane will actually turn into a model that flies at us, which is probably best appreciated in VR. The thing I wanted to say about WebXR is I think it's unstoppable. It's unstoppable. I think um, one thing we shouldn't forget about WebXR is that it connects to the, the web at large, which includes all the 2D content. And that's a very important thing. And that its ability to actually mix all of those together, I believe, and, and by the way, there. The, I hope the polys will become like the Emmys in the future because you have created an award that is at the beginning of a new medium. And that has to happen. And that's a very, what you're doing is very important here um, because it gives people this understanding that this is important and that the innovation here will lead. So one, one day the polys, <laughs> one day the polys will be the Emmys.